it so important to have such big uh, players such as Gig in, in Malta? It's not a question of having big players or not. I think you now Malta has established itself as the home of gaming excellence. So it's only natural for us to go and attract the big players and the most reputable players in Malta because that's what makes the Maltese legislators the largest legislator in Europe. Having to attract also big players, but not only big players. I mean, in Malta we have, and Heathcliff can confirm, about 300 operators now licensing. 300. So, so basically, out of these 300, you have certain amount which are very big players, but obviously there are other amounts. So, as a regulator, we cater and we service all industries, being big players, medium players, and also small players. Today, our regulator, and also now with the new legislation in place, offers a very straightforward but robust legislation, which is obviously very attractive to all operators in this industry. Yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, the particular uh, operator you mentioned, that's a, a success story from A to Z in Malta because... Uh, They've expanded a lot, haven't they? Yeah, they started sort of uh, the CEO who was uh, was worth an event and who was uh, telling about sort of, he was telling everyone about his story. So he literally came with his now wife. They came to Malta just uh, with, uh, with the snowboard. Then he realized that he wasn't able to use the snowboard in Malta, obviously. But then from the snowboard and starting to work into a garage, now he employs, I think they employ about 600 people in Malta, and they're a huge uh, success story. That's fantastic, and all three being in Malta. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the thing is that, in Malta we believe that if you regulate and regulate properly, that is how you can have these success stories. Let's keep going, because I know we've got a lot to get through. So Heathcliff, tell me a little bit about Espire Global and how that kind of catch up went. Well, I think uh, Espire Global is one of the reputable operators we have uh, in Malta. They started small as well uh, in Malta. And they now have 150 employees in Malta. 150 employees. Uh, I believe that's another success story in Malta. They started slow. I believe they are predominantly their UBOs are Israeli. It's an Israeli company who, uh, who set up shop uh, in Malta, and nowadays they are uh, they are one of the one of the fastest growing international uh, gaming operators. Actually, fantastic. Yes, a huge success story. Do you want to give it give it a whirl? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, there. Okay, so if you can hold that down for me, please. Do you play mini game? Pardon? Do you play many games like this? Well, not like this. Not <laughs> I play more video games. Not like this. Oh, okay. you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Where would you like to put the spin button now? So um, so ah, okay. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, the game is tailored for the for the player. So we've got. That's really clever. It is. We've got a player-centric experience. Everything is tailored around the player's experience. We've tried to make sure that the player is enticed. Uh, to uh, really enjoy the, the experience. So much effort has gone into building this game. All the graphics are hand-drawn as well. Well done, very nice product. It means that uh, they put a lot of effort in, into it. So yes, I mean, this part of this industry, joyful industry. That... There's lots of fun things to do and to play. Yes, indeed. And people not only working and consuming the services are happy to do that, so... Part of the fun of walking around and having a talk. It is, that is why uh, it's part of the parcel to be in Malta because Malta is a nice country. You have a whole package there, Malta. Mm -hmm. 